Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another gear review. Today, I'm going to go over the Yak Track Pro uh, ice crampons that we used on our AT through hike. Okay, as always, the features first. Right from the website, <coughs> feature number one. They have a spikeless, ultra lightweight design. Feature number two, 360 degrees of traction with patented skid lock coil system. That sounds extremely fancy, extremely fancy. Number three, durable, natural rubber outer band for flexible fit, natural rubber straight from the rubber tree. Feature number four, abrasion resistant 1.4 millimeter steel coils. Hmm, nice. Number five, removable straps ensure a secure fit. Ooh, feature number six, heel tab allows for easy installation and removal. Finally, feature number seven is shaped coil. That's all it says, shaped coil. That's a feature, it has shaped coil. We'll look into that. Okay, there's the features. All right, it is time as always to break down these features into normal words and just talk about the product overall and how it works for me. Um, they advertise this as being great for, this product is being great for outdoors and athlete, well obviously outdoors with snow, but, oh dang it! I haven't been recording any of the audio. Sorry. Due to technical difficulties, my voice will begin to sound better. Crap. Due to technical difficulties, the audio should now be much, much better. Yes, it should. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, this product is advertised, and I'll read the little blurb on the website as being, the Yak Track Pro will instantly give you better traction, confidence, and safety on packed ice and snow. Walk, run, or work on slick surfaces with the same stability you're accustomed to on dry surfaces. Don't let the winter weather put a damper on your outdoor activity or athletic training with Yak Track Pro. For us on our AT through hike, uh, the Yak Track Pro was just not. Thank you, phone, for interrupting me. For us on our through hike, the Yak Track Pro was just not durable enough, not a hardy enough uh, piece of gear to last the, the beating that we put it through. Within three days, they were useless. Really did not work very well for us. Um, I'm gonna throw in some pictures. Boo, boo, boo. Different pictures of other people having the same issue. Uh, we threw ours away, so I don't actually have any physical thing that I can show you. Um, but yeah, overall just did not work well for for hiking. I would say this product works would work well if you were just walking. Um, maybe if you had it in your car so that, you know, it's winter, icy out, you go into a ditch or something like that, you can put these on so you're not slipping around. Walking through a icy parking lot to get to your car, but not for extended use for extended periods of time and not on like uneven or rocky surfaces. If it's just like a flat, like I said, parking lot with ice on it, these do give you traction and they do work well in that case. But the way that they advertise them for being like athletic, I would not consider them athletic. Um, we actually had problems keeping them on our feet because the fit, depending on your boot size, your you, they can be too tight and want to fall off or too loose and want to fall off. So the fit was a little bit tricky. And if you're going to be running in them, I wouldn't suggest the Yak Track Pros. Uh, if you go to their website, <clears throat> they actually have a 
running style of uh, track for your shoes, these guys, and they I mean they have more straps on them to keep them on your feet, and they're better made for running. So if you want running, go with those. Okay, let's go over some pros and cons because there are some good features that go along with these this product, but as far as the hiking, maybe more cons. The Yak Track Pros do give you eh, pros and pros. Anyways. They do give you traction. Um, they advertise as being able to give you traction on ice. They do in snow and in slush. It does provide traction. So that is that is something that they advertise and is good. Another thing, they're very lightweight. Um, two ounces a pair or two ounces a piece for four ounces uh, for the pair of them. They're the lightest weight uh, like track that you can put on your shoes that we could actually find. They're also compared to the other products on the market, very inexpensive. Um, I think from the, the website, they're like $30, but if you go through Amazon or some of your other sites, you can get them for a little bit cheaper than that. And compared to some of the other things out there, they're pretty inexpensive. All right, con number one, uh, sizing. It's, it's hard to find ones that fit your shoe properly, and if they don't, they tend to want to fall off. I know that there's a strap that goes around the front of them. Um, but what ends up happening is the rubber on the front of the Yak Track actually pulls down. The strap keeps it on, but it just balls up underneath your foot. So keeping them on your feet uh, is, is an issue. Another con is those coils on the bottom. If you're not on a strictly flat surface, you're on something with rocks, when you step down, that rock is going to bend those coils. When the coils get bent, that's when they put pressure on the rubber, the stretchy rubber that you know makes up the whole piece of equipment, and it'll actually cut it. So through walking on rocks and stuff, you literally bend those coils and then they cut the rubber and they're useless. Also, the stretchy rubber that holds this, this onto your foot comes on either side, and I'm gonna pop a little picture in here and maybe point out there's these rubber that stretch down the sides that have a gap between you and your shoe. Depending on your shoes, um, I found it very inconvenient with sticks and stuff. Like I said earlier, walking through a parking lot, probably no trouble, but when you're hiking through the woods, sticks would get caught inside of there and it could also break those rubber bands that are on the sides of your shoe that, that hold it on. So that design itself doesn't go well with, with hiking in the woods. Overall durability is a con. These things just do not hold up the way they say they do. When I first bought my Yak Tracks, they actually came broken. Um, the company was, you know, perfectly good with the customer service. They they sent me new ones, so that's not an issue. But that just goes for the durability of them that they couldn't even survive shipping. They're not particularly easy to to put on. When you take them off, they tend to want to spring into this ball of coil and rubber, um, which makes them kind of small and they pack away all right. But they then you have to try to kind of untangle them and spread them open. Sitting down, they're easier to work to put on, but there's a lot of other ones out there, and we can get into that in other reviews, um, that are just easier to put on. These tend to be a pain, and to do it from standing is almost, I don't want to say impossible, but it's a struggle anyways. Okay, let's get right down to my rating. Uh, to keep this short and sweet, I'd give them like a 4 out of 10. Um, because of the way they're advertised, they do not live up to uh, the way that they're advertised. But they do get some points for, they would work for other applications. I believe that if you put these in your car and had them for an emergency or just to get yourself across the parking lot or an icy driveway to get to your car, walking, these are going to work fine. If you're looking for something to run in, I think there's better things out there. And if you're looking for something to hike in the woods in, I would definitely recommend not using the Yak Tracks. Stay tuned for my next gear review, where I go over the Ice Trekkers, ding, which are the actual uh, crampons that we eventually went to on the trip that performed well and are a good um, a good spike to use for, for hiking in the woods on ice. So stay tuned for that. Um, but as always, these are just my opinions, and if you don't like them, you can go take a hike. Bye-bye.